I'm Jesse Coltrane and I'm the area wildlife biologist for Fish and Game in Anchorage, Alaska. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Anchorage as a really great place for people and for wildlife. And right now we're here at BLM Campbell Track Facility and we're really fortunate here in Anchorage and specifically right here where we're standing to have both black and brown bears that are residents right here and we're standing right next to a salmon creek and this is one of the things that bring the bears into our neighborhoods and into this wonderful piece of land they come in for the salmon we've got moose across the creek they're coming in for the moose to eat um, but because we do live with bears here in Anchorage, it's really important for us to remember that we really have to be thinking about safety when we're recreating in bear country. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to the Camel Creek Science Center. Now before we spend a lot of time outside, before we go on our hikes today, we're going to talk about bears. Now raise your hand if you live in Anchorage. We all do, don't we? <clears throat> we all do. So that means we live in bear country. Now, bears live here with us in these woods. They live with us in our neighborhoods and even in our city. Have you ever seen that picture of that brown bear walking down the street in downtown Anchorage? No. Have you ever seen that? So we need, to, we need to understand bears. We need to know how to act when we're in bear country and how to react if we encounter a bear. So I'm going to ask you some questions and see what you Anchorage kids know because you guys are pretty smart. Were you guys born here in Alaska? No. Uh, some of you were, some of you weren't. Okay. So um, let me ask you some questions. Are you ready? Let's say that we're all standing here, we're talking, we're doing our thing. And you see that tree way over there, that real tall spruce tree? Let's say that we saw a bear over there. It doesn't matter what kind. It could be a black bear or a brown bear. What should we do? Raise your hand if you tell me. Raise your hand if you know. Yes, yes, sir. What should we do? Yeah, you're right. That was a little bit of a trick question and you figured it out because they didn't tell you what that bear was doing. Maybe it was just passing through the woods or whatever. What you would do is like let everybody aware, hey, uh, there's a bear over there. Oh, really? Okay, everybody. Well, the bear is just moving off. Let's, let's back off and we'll increase our distance. Um, we never ever approach a bear, do we? No, that's what the tourists do with their cameras, right? When they go try to get a good picture, and those guys get themselves in trouble because they're trying to get that picture. Well, we can increase our distance, but let's say, let's say that that bear's not there, but at this spruce tree right there. See that spruce tree? Right. Pretty close. What is that about? What is that about? 40 feet away? What do you think? How far do you think that is? I'm not sure. Maybe about 45 feet away. What should we do now? Hide. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Yeah, we'd make ourselves look bigger. So everybody put your arms like this, make yourself look big. And we'd all get together. We'd all we'd all stick together. Yeah, you know your jacket and put your jacket up like do that for me. Put your jacket up. Yeah, like that guy. Do that again. Yeah, so you can kind of, yeah, you know, put it up so you look really big. We all get together as a group. Now, the bear doesn't think of us as a couple kids, uh, a couple of adults. It sees us as kind of a weird, strange blob with big arms and a bunch of legs and loud voices and stuff. So we're pretty unusual. And uh, more than likely, more than likely that bear is going gonna, is gonna to be scared and run off. It's very, very rare that a bear is going to get any closer than that out here. Do we ever run from a bear? Everybody knows that you never run from a bear, that's right, because bear's food normally runs. It's a predator. So if you run, you're no longer a human, but you're now food. So as scary and weird as it seems, you never want to run from a bear. We stand our ground, we stick together as a group, and we make ourselves look big. So when you're traveling in bear country, first and foremost, it's really important to make a lot of noise. If you make a lot of noise, your chances of surprising a bear is a lot less. And then if you travel in groups, you'll tend to make more noise, and so therefore you'd have a less chance of encountering a bear. And ever wear headphones? Headphones obscure the sounds of your surroundings. You may not even know that there, there's a bear right next to you if you have your headphones on. And always keep your dog on a leash because you never know how your dog is actually gonna behave around bears. And in a lot of instances, a loose dog can provoke a bear attack. So if you happen to counter a bear while you're out traveling through bear country, the very most important thing to remember is never run from a bear. Running from a bear can very often provoke a predatory response in the bear and you may result in an attack. So if you can't remember anything, remember don't run from a bear. It's really great to get out in the woods and enjoy yourself, but remember to be safe because you're traveling in bear country. <laughs>